That's right, we are back in the Roadshow Kitchen. Bob Burke is here, Pot of Fur is the restaurant. We've got lamb shanks on the menu today. The whole studio smells of and uh, a bacon, bacon, in a bacon in the oven. Hang on, hang on. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Oh my God! Come get some bacon, oh, ladies. Good mm, God, you. girls! Oh, I'm telling you. Thanks, Bob. All right, Thanks. don't Take burn yourself on yeah. that oven. The hot Grammy spot. I love some bacon. 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 See you, Will. See you, Bob. Good luck. Everybody's everybody's. Everybody so leave. you put the you put the bray shanks in the oven. Bob, you can't go anyplace. All right, fine. Okay, well. we've got we've got lamb shanks on the menu. What do we need to put this together? Okay, so what we're going to do is this is for Easter, mm -hmm. obviously coming up. Everybody's right. thinking, what are they going to do? Yep. A lot of people don't cook a lot of lamb during the year. And, you know, they're worried, how are we going to get it? Is it gonna, the temperature going to be right? Is right. it going to be rare, medium rare? They're worrying about this, this strange-looking leg of lamb, boneless, not boneless, yeah. tied up with strings. Yep. Way easier way to do it. Okay. We're going to use lamb shanks, and we're going to braise them. Okay. Which means we're going to cook them in the oven with lots of moisture. Yep. They can't really get overdone. They're going to be falling off the bone. You're not going to be sweating it out on Easter, worrying that somebody's going to go, oh, the if lamb's really right, dry. Right, right. It's all overdone. It's terrible. It's tough. A simple ingredients that we've got here, a little tomato. We've got some of our herbs here, just salt, pepper, a little bay leaf. We're going to put it together with some potatoes, carrot, celery, the holy trinity. Uh, I even threw in a little bit of um, uh, the golden beets. Okay. because you can use any variety of root vegetables along with it. It's going to make its own sauce in the pan. You're going to take it out of the oven and in voila. a casserole on Easter, and the, you know it's going to be a perfect little Easter with no anxiety. Got it. All right, that's it. We will... Uh, what, oh, gonna... That is not it. <laughs> <laughs> There's still bacon. More bacon. Well, we'll, bacon, we'll, bacon, bacon, we'll bacon. We'll put this recipe together. Talk about it just a little bit. Back to you. She, she's dancing away. <laughs> we are back in the Roadshow Kitchen. Chef Bob Burke is here. Pot of Fleur is the restaurant located in uh, in Providence. We've got lamb shank on the menu today. Now, before we get to that, I would like to uh, ask you something that we have heard. <laughs> Do you know what I'm going to say to you? No, I have no oh, okay. idea. All right. Uh, I want to say congratulations on your induction into the, drum roll please, the Rhode Island Heritage Hall of Fame that's going to be happening in May. Well, that's so nice of you. Yes. Thank yes. you. It, we're, we're very happy. We, we actually met someone who is involved in this and was telling us about about this and we were like it couldn't happen to a better guy and a guy who not only everybody knows because not only just from the road trip but you've been doing this Thank for you. such a long time at the restaurant but also because you love you love 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 and I've never seen anybody who loves history more in in Rhode Island and Providence more than you this is better than the Grammys. Well, <laughs> I'm telling you, honest to God, I'm going to give you a lamb check <laughs> as your award. But congratulations, we're happy for you. Thank you. Yeah, May first, yeah. Crown Plaza. Yes. Uh, there's going to be a really, it's a really nice ceremony. It's, uh, it's uh, less than uh, somebody figured it out and said it's less than one tenth of one percent of the people who ever lived in Rhode Island. That's fantastic. And it includes a lot of the historical people, you know, right. Roger Williams and stuff. And right. uh, uh, it's a great honor. And I'm, uh, you know, the thing that's hard for me is. You shouldn't get uh, honored for something that you just plain love doing and so much. And you genuinely do. And I really do. I love telling the stories of Rhode Island. Um, and it's not for my cooking. Right. It is for <laughs> it is for my telling of the story of Rhode Island yes. and, uh, and being proud of this state, which I absolutely love and which you guys do so much yeah. of. You know, I think of the, the 11 years the road show has been on yeah. and the, the pride it has given people in Rhode Island. And that's why I love being part of it. Yeah. Is, is that that's that's what's really special about so thank you well every thank time we, you. every time we nice go on surprise. an adventure every time we go on an adventure with you and you start giving us history we're like how the heck does he know this maybe he's making it up i don't know but that's he, my, that's <laughs> my daughter says my daughter is like he just makes it <laughs> I, oh, i'm beginning to believe it okay back to the lamp yeah, hey and we said this is going to be easy for easter yes so uh, we're going to show you we're going to take this pot yeah go ahead and combine okay, everything so put, put this okay in. yeah go ahead and i I'm going to add the uh, the lamb shank, and we're putting in our, our crushed tomatoes. We're going to put in some garlic. We don't have to cook it up before. And the reason that we even whole peppercorns, right? Mm -hmm. So the reason that we can do this, it's going to cook for hours. So everything is going to cook down. Okay. And that's why you'll see we're going to put in some big chunky onions that you've got over there. Yep. Right? So let's put in our onion, our carrots, our celery, potato. We're going to put all those in, and then we're just going to add our stock. Yep. to it and you see we can show you here 
that we've got the pot all ready to go, and now, so how easy is this? You okay. come home from church, and you take this baby, and, and put you it pop, it, pop it in the oven. So when, okay. you, when you're putting that in the oven, and I've seen a, like a bunch of other TV shows, like cooking shows do it, they, a lot of times they'll put like some tin foil on top of it too, and then put the cover to seal it. Do you need to do that? Yeah. Or? No, that's like product placement for oh, Reynolds oh, all right, foil. Okay, no. Okay. no, no, no. It, you can seal it. I'm but if you've got, him. He could be lying to me, but if I'm you, still If you've him. got like a Dutch oven, right. anything with a good tight-fitting lid, is, that's is all you enough. need. Okay. Yeah, because what you want to do, braising is, is, means that you're, you're at least um, three-quarters covered in liquid. And the braising liquid and steam are going to combine to cook this meat all the way to the bone. Okay. It's going to fall off the bone. All that tough, everything that's tough right. actually cooks down. And then that goes into the sauce. So what happens is we don't even need to make a special sauce for it. Got it, because it's so, basically creating itself. So now I've taken out my potatoes. A little trick, you cut a potato in half so that the lamb shank isn't laying down in the broth. It's up a little. Restaurants use this all the time. You notice how many times you go to a restaurant and food is like sort of coming up a yeah, little? Yeah. It's That's one of the things you do. So we just cut the potato in half, Put stuck it underneath. it underneath so we get a little height here on the bone okay. showing it off. Right. And then we've got our carrot, celery. It's all cooked down. The sauce made itself. Right. It's not even like you're going to take it out and make a separate gravy. Sure. The sauce made itself. And that is not a, a, a totally easy way to do your Easter. Look, now, a lot of people, they may be like, oh, I really don't care for lamb, because sometimes lamb can have a, a bit of a gamey taste. But with this, I would imagine that all kind of goes away. Yes. And, and the thing that I think a lot of people, I always order my lamb medium or better, because I think there's a change in the flavor of lamb that happens once you cook it a little more, and you get a richer flavor, it's a better flavor. I don't like my lamb medium rare. Right. You know, right. a steak, yes, but not lamb. I like lamb cooked. And with on the bone, the big thing we want to do here with the bone is get that marrow to cook out, because mm -hmm. that's adding to the flavor. It's okay. adding to the richness of it. And that's why, you know, meat on the bone is just got it, it all much, over. Much better flavor, right? Whether it's chicken, you know, you're cooking it on the bone, and the flavors that you get, because there's a lot of collagen, right. is what's in there. That collagen is cooking. And in the, uh, technically, in that wet cooking process, it turns into collagen. Okay. Okay? So it goes from collagen into gelatin. Right. The gelatin is moist. It gives you that great so flavor. It doesn't dry out. So it doesn't so. dry out. Right. It keeps it moist. It keeps it delicious. And that's why it's fun is because you don't want to be worrying about, oh, God, i got to go cook this right. thing. And they're going to complain if it's overdone and dry yeah. and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And quickly, just mention the restaurant, please. Oh, the Pot of Fur, downtown it's Providence. Right there on his, uh, right 50 there on years apron. in May. And uh, thank you, my friend. Yeah, again. no, it's, that was it's, it's, really it's, lovely it's really of you very to nice. mention. So congratulations. To you, Thank so you. we're happy. So that happens in May, right? May 1st, May Sunday, 1st. May 1st, Look Crown at Plaza, 5 o'clock. Who knew? There he is. He, yeah. I'm telling you, we're not even kidding. Nobody loves Rhode Island like Bob. I mean, he knows everything, even if he's lying to you. I don't even really know. Some of the stories he tells, I'm like, oh, okay, I believe him. But I think he's true. All right, Bob, thanks, buddy, for coming in. Um, if you would like the recipe for this, you can head on over to our website, roadshow.com. <laughs> it's true.